back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Today is a very exciting video that I have for you. Very, very exciting analysis. We are going to discuss gold, silver, and miners. Simple as that. Not only uh, we are going to discuss the possible uh, direction of the trend, the possible path that prices are going to take, I'm going to give three important dates. Two are very close to us, and the third one is expected uh, a few months uh, later on in the future. So let's start. First of all, um, I am expecting that we are to see a bearish move in gold. This is gold chart. I'm expecting that we are to see a, a bearish move in gold chart. And there's a possibility that we are going to see a low forming somewhere around this structure. It can actually go further a little down as well. But somewhere in this structure, uh, probably lower end is approximately going to be the low end of our bearish uh, trend. All right. And after that, we are going to get a sharp reversal of going upside. I have mentioned this uh, before, so you might be thinking, what else is new? Well, these dates are, I have not shared these dates before. First of all, uh, let me zoom in a bit and so we can actually see the dates. First of all, the the vertical line, this one, this one and this one, they are very important. And um, I have done a lot of research on it and I have come up with these dates, so I wanted to share with you guys. The first one is uh, that I am expecting a high on 19th of September. So we have maybe uh, eight nine uh, today is 10th of september and then 11th so the trading week is starting on 12th of september we have about i think yeah about nine days right for, from now on and hardly uh, five or six trading days six trading days actually uh, from monday on so we don't have a lot of time so i'm expecting that we will see a high being formed in gold on uh, september 19th and after that September 20th is expected to be a bearish day How is that we can discuss that structure the next important date that I have on the chart is that a major low is expected This a major low is expected on 17th of October Okay. <coughs> Pardon me, so a major low is expected on 17th of October and uh, what uh, what is happened uh, expected after that this low is going to be the I believe so at least right now the giant the, the prices are looking like that that there is a high possibility that this low is going to act as a major major low for few years to come so this is going to be the golden opportunity to buy gold and silver at the lowest prices available to us after that we are expected to see a top being formed somewhere in the February around 2023 so very sharp move is expected uh, as soon as the bottom is completed a very very sharp move is expected and there's a good possibility of prices going beyond the previous high right over here to create a new high somewhere over beyond the previous high and there is a good possibility that after we have created the top we will create a price structure above the previous top right over here so a lot of is a lot of is going on and these dates, especially the last, um, the very close two dates are very important to be remembered. A high is expected on 19th of September. And I'm expecting that we might spill some time on the 20th of September. That means there is a possibility that we might see uh, a top being formed in the early hours of 20th of September. All right. So that's why I'm saying that 20th September is expected to be a bearish day. As a whole, the day, uh, the trading day is expected to be a bearish day on 20th of September, and a top is expected on uh, 19th September, and then a major, major low is expected in 17th October. A lot of time uh, I have spent on the research, and uh, these are dates not that I, not something that I'm just simply throwing on um, for no reason. Let's have a look at what possible paths can actually take. There is a good possibility. Now this arrow, this arrow is only indicating the high, and this indicating is the low. That is a low is because the direction is towards the low. It doesn't mean uh, that if this price is going to happen. This is just for me to keep in mind. And this another indication that this um, uh, arrow is giving an indication that a high is expected. So don't worry about those arrows. The dates are mentioned on the 
text box right over here and we this text box will keep moving along the chart as the chart goes on we'll keep on seeing these uh, with us as the chart moves on let's have a look at possible uh, structures that we can uh, I think that there is a possibility that from right over here where we are right now we are going to go st strongly down all right let me go on and uh, convert that to daily uh, hourly chart we have a lot to discuss I'll be presenting the more analysis uh, the normal analysis that we do normally in a separate video so gold and silver and miners will be discussed in this video and then after discuss after that so I'm expecting there is cost that we are going to go down somewhere right over here there is an alternative count and then alternative count could possibly mean that we are probably something looking like a B and C right over here but I'm expecting that there is the least possibility of this happening if this happens we are to expect prices jump up right over here there were therefore I'm expecting that we are not going to see something like this but we'll keep that in uh, mind as an alternating count all right so far for now I'm expecting that we have seen a top being formed and we shall actually continue prices going downward and then mostly last two uh, probably days uh, for example we have six day trading days so next four days are expected to be bearish three to four days are expected to be bearish and next two to three days uh, after that two to three days are expected to be bullish on gold and a similar thing is expected in silver so the high that's being formed there's a possibility that we this high would be lower as compared to this one the one that we have already formed right over here and once that is formed uh, we are going to see choppy price action uh, because there's a not a lot of price movement uh, we would have trading at 1700 at this point and our target would be uh, 1450 so we would be and believe me uh, then we will be expecting some regular corrections these price will not come without corrections uh, I'm pretty sure that's obvious So from this top we will be expecting regular corrections in the price action but a major major swing is expected uh, right all the way down from over here uh, to 17th of October and as soon as that happens I think that will be uh, the lowest price that we will see in gold and silver for a very very good while let's have a look at silver and see how things are going on in silver I have not labeled the silver chart so that will be very interesting to see how the chart is looking at it the correction that I was talking about in my analysis in my previous videos we have seen that correction right now I was expecting that we would be seeing something like this of a longer behavior but that has not happened so I think that we have created a top right now you guys probably can see the structure right now so there is a good possibility that we can actually uh, go down from over here so I'm thinking and um, that since gold is bearish and I'm seeing th the patterns as well in silver as well so I'm bearish on silver from this one going on the dates still same uh, almost the same for uh, silver as well let's have a look on a daily time frame so we can actually uh, see what is expected so this is the analysis is given uh, beforehand that I was telling you guys that I'm expecting a bottom to be formed somewhere around 1260 and that almost everybody is uh, in, in the mining industry is aware of it that gold and silver are strongly headed downward the reason is because I have at least seen one miner they have uh, not miner a broker uh, for bullion itself gold and silver bullion itself uh, no, and I'm subscribed to one of them uh, they are offering right now silver at just two dollar uh, above than the uh, trading price the real silver bullion I'm talking about and back in day few day I mean few months ago it was very very expensive they were charging 60 percent 70 percent uh, off above the, the the price in the market so they they made a lot of money and right now because they're they don't want to keep the silver and gold so that's why they're adjusting their prices so at least finally that's happening let's have a look at si the, the chart itself we can clearly see that we have strongly bearish move and that bearish move is still in action nothing has changed with that regard starting from that top especially we have seen very strong bearish outlook and that bearish outlook is going to continue nothing has changed with that regard uh, but the important thing is that we are very very close to completing the top right over here this one and then we are heading downward so let's have a look on hourly time frame 
uh, to see if we figure out actually some corrections and for now the corrections that we are seeing right now is this ABC alright let me zoom that in and I think that structure is complete right now so this is the start of the trend this is an A and this is a B and this is a C and this uh, we will examine that as a minor is good enough all right so I'm expecting that we shall actually continue Monday uh, and Tuesday Monday Tuesday Thursday and Wednesday as a bearish outlook on silver and then again a couple of days are expected to be bullish in silver and then we are headed f downwards nothing is new uh, I believe that we can definitely use a trend line to get a confirmation of it if you are want to be a little more conservative you can use that this trend line if you want to be a little more uh, you know on the challenging side then you can definitely use a horizontal line this one right over here is very good and if it's on its own 1830 from the top right now I'm going to be bearish in silver uh, let's have a look at GDX the most important thing that I want to share with you guys is uh, the dates I have not shared the dates before you guys you guys let's have a look at now GDX already shared with you guys the what are we were expecting we have seen a jump right over here and right now I believe that from Monday we shall actually see a strongly strongly bearish outlook on GDX and the double bottom is expected with the previous bottom so 1680 right now we are trading at 27 dollars uh, we are going to down massively somewhere around maybe 40 percent from the prices right now uh, and that will be very very beautiful price to buy in, in GDX on its own imagine it's being traded at 46 or 44 and then just few months later we would be trading at 16 dollars so we have only one one and a half month left for the date that I have given you guys and after that I'm expecting a strong strong rebound and there is a possibility that we are going to see a new high uh, being formed in GDX so very very uh, beautiful trading setups that we are expecting in gold silver and gold miners new mount uh, once again new mount uh, you could not imagine at the top that the new mount would be selling that low we are still seeing that new mount is uh, bearish strongly bearish let me change that so here I am strongly bearish on a new mount nothing has changed with that I'm expecting that we are going to see a bottom somewhere around twenty five dollars right now we are trading at forty three dollars then once again a strong rebound is expected in new mount as well Metalla is uh, uh, going to be very weak right now uh, so the jump the one that wants to create once first of all let's have a look from over here I'm expecting that the bottom is to be expected around two dollar in this area two dollar and few cents uh, this bottom is a possibility that we will see a double bottom being formed with this particular bottom and then once the jump happens the jump is not going to take the prices all the way back to the top uh, there is a good possibility that we will be staying right over here so Matella has a lot of work to do we have seen a lot of real uh, weakness in Matella <coughs> my apologies 1340 it was trading the highest and then it will be trading back around around two dollars massive massive decrease in Matella wheat and precious metals uh, I'm personally going to I think I believe that I'm going to uh, once Wheaton reaches the below I'm going to tr uh, invest in Newmont and Wheaton so two things are I'm going to keep in mind uh, once uh, the prices are at the rock bottom so what is there right now the patterns in in front of you guys uh, I believe that we have completed the bullish price section already and then we are to go bearish from over here okay this price action actually makes sense a little we can see that the there's a strong possibility of truncation we can see prices going up coming down and going up so it kind of completes an a b and c structure right over here we can see a new low is being created right over here giving us indication a strong bearish outlook on new month. this act uh, on wheat and precious this actually confirms uh, that we are going further down so I'm pretty sure wheat is on its own is very very weak right now we are almost going to lose 50% uh, right from the prices right over here so from the top that we have recent top 65 to 
twenty dollars uh, that is almost like sixty percent drop that would be amazing right from the top it is it was how much it was sixty five dollars to twenty dollars more than sixty percent twenty three dollars yeah somewhere around sixty percent so um, I've spent a lot of time on the dates I hope that the dates would actually help you guys in finding the uh, important trading setups in gold and silver things are looking extremely bearish we were waiting for a uh, our pullback the pullback the full pal of full pullback hasn't come and uh, we have seen a healthy pullback though still it's not as strong as you were expecting uh, but still good enough and i think we have spent enough time right now going up and down there is no chance that we are to see uh, prices going up further Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.